Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your financial freedom journey partner. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share my current stock portfolio update. Uh, so, so far my stock portfolio has grown uh, by $62,000, which is a very good accomplishment from my perspective. So what I'm planning to do that every week I'm gonna create a video just uh, showing the recent updates in my stock portfolio. So please uh, like and subscribe to my channel to watch the upcoming future videos related to the stock market. So I started my uh, stock uh, market journey uh, almost a year ago and uh, I have learned from scratch. So I have gone through many books, many YouTube blogs and uh, everything that I could uh, found at the time. But uh, it really helped me to actually develop a mindset that how to think like an investor. So I just want to share my knowledge with you guys. I want to learn from you and uh, together we'll grow rich. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so I have logged into my Wellsimple account. So uh, this is the account that I use for uh, my stocks. So here you can see I have uh, current balances uh, near around 62K um, and it's all done by within a year. That's uh, why I'm really proud of this accomplishment because it's really helped me to build a mindset to actually save the money and invest it for the long term. So at the very beginning of this uh, video, I'm gonna sh uh, list down my top holdings in um, different stocks. So I'm gonna show you my top five holdings. So uh, for some reason, uh, I like the uh, mobile app version because it's very easy in that way to see everything in a single place. But uh, in uh, desktop version, it's kind of like hard. So I have to do it manually anyway. So yeah. So here under the right side you can see i do have a watch list so it's always better to create your own watch list so you should come up with a company names that you feel like are very important to follow so once you are uh, pretty much like uh, ready to come up the list then you have to uh, create a watch list and you have to track the uh, stocks in very frequently manner because for some reason if the stock is down then you want to purchase those stock because you know in the long term this stock will go up and up okay so uh, the f first stock that i'm gonna show in here is this uh, vfv well vfv is uh, not a single stock it's a sap 500 index fund so what is SMP 500? Well, just think about a basket, okay? So in a basket, we do have 500 uh, different stocks. Uh, it could be uh, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, or different sectors. So uh, what does it mean SMP 500? That means like um, it is tracking the top 500 uh, most performed companies in US stocks. So if you invest $100 for an instance in this stock, that means you are distributing your $100 into small chunks into these uh, 500 companies. So there are many benefits of uh, investing in this uh, this one. First of all, uh, the risk, you are managing the risk very wisely. And uh, if we see the five years of performance, it has grown by 56%, almost like 11% uh, uh, per year. So uh, we all know that US market will do fine in the long term. So if we invest in here, it's a very safe investment. So for that reason, here you can see I am holding almost uh, $10,000 of uh, VFV shares because I know that this is uh, helping to me to actually build a very strong backbone of my portfolio. So here, w whenever I feel like, yes, I do have some extra money, I always invest in this one. The market cap of VFV is uh, 7.82 billion. That is uh, amazing. Uh, it's a, a big cap. The PE ratio is 17.27, it's below 20, and definitely it's very attractive. Beside the growth, so the chart, it is just showing the growth number, like 56% in growth. Beside that, it also provides us the stock uh, yield or dividend. So it also provides us 1.26% of dividend. And the good part is like every monthly, we are getting this dividend. So you, if you reinvest uh, this uh, dividends to your uh, VFV, a VFP portfolio then in five years and ten years you will make a lot of money out of it 
all right my second biggest holding is uh, vdy so vdy the full form of vdy is vanguard ftsc canadian high dividend yield index etf so it tracks pretty much all the companies that provides uh, good dividends so whenever we are talking about canadian stocks we are mainly talking about the finance sector so here if we see the five years of growth it's uh it's a uh, 17.81 percent but the yield if we see in here the yield or dividend is 4.78 percent which is way more than the average so and uh, right now i am holding almost uh, seven thousand dollars of uh, vdy stocks uh, under my personal account and my tfsa account that takes a tax-free savings account and uh, yes it's uh, i am planning to make it uh, like 10k uh, because uh, it provides me the dividend every monthly basis so if i invest like 10k every monthly i'm gonna get a good amount of dividends that i can reinvest to get the compound interest okay so now at this point let's uh, talk about uh, single stock so my third biggest holding is uh, from my understanding is the google i'm an it guy i know like uh, it industry very well so i have listed down few companies that i feel like that it gonna do just fine in a very long term and the growth potential is huge uh, so uh, there is a very important uh, quote that i read from one of the finance book is that we need to choose the stocks that we are sure about suppose you are in a finance side you know that some of the finance companies they will do fine in the long term if you're an it field like me you know that some of the companies are doing well and there's very high potential that it's gonna grow more and more in future so just go for it so as i'm more of an it guy that's why i have in under my stock portfolio most of the stocks you can see are mainly tech stocks so if i look into the google in five years it has grown by 111 percent it's uh, almost like 20 percent per year that's a massive gain and right now i am holding uh, uh, 29 shares of google that is uh, almost uh, i can say like uh, three thousand five hundred dollars of stocks and uh, here you can see that my uh, non register account has grown by 39 percent and my tfs account has grown by 16.11 percent so i already made money out of this the market cap is 1.56 trillion that is massive it's in a trillion the p ratio is 27.39 even though it's a more of a growth stock and a tech stock the p ratio is very attractive in here and uh, right now it's not providing any sort of dividend it's paying no dividend because the money that is making every year google it's uh, reinvesting the money for r d for research and development because the growing potential of google is still way more so that's why they are trying to capture the market and uh, they are expanding everything so that's a very good side of a stock my fourth biggest uh, holding is amazon so uh, we all know that Amazon is famous for his uh, uh, retail business. But besides that, uh, Amazon has the biggest cloud environment that's called AWS. So it's uh, the industry leader and cloud computing is the next big thing. So for that reason, I am purchasing more and more of Amazon stock. So even if you see the growth in five years, it has grown by uh, 51% and uh, Currently, I am holding 29 shares of uh, Amazon, which is uh, near around uh, uh, $3,800 in value. The market cap is huge. It's uh, $1.34 trillion. The PE ratio is 315. Um, now, a question can come to your mind that is why the PE ratio is so high compared to the others. Because uh, people are buying more and more of Amazon stocks, uh, they feel like in, in future it's gonna go up. So the demand is high. That's why uh, this PE ratio is uh, this high. All right. Then the yield right now it's not also providing any sort of yield or dividends. It's zero point zero zero percent because it's uh, focusing on the growth uh, aspects of it. So um, this uh, stock I'm planning to purchase more and more. So under uh, my personal account uh, it has grown by forty percent, and under TFSA it's grown by five point three zero percent. And uh, 
I'm pretty sure in a few years this stock will go up and up. So I am more of a long-term investor. I uh, first look into the company. I look into the different sort of uh, 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 papers like the balance sheet, the income statement and other stuff and then I make a decision that uh, what would be the future of this company and if I feel like yes this is the company that has the potential to go up I just purchase those share. I just don't uh, assume for a short period of time I am more of a like long term player. The fifth biggest holding under my stock portfolio is uh, Apple. We are all familiar with Apple stock and uh, whenever we are talking about uh, phones, Apple is uh, the leader, we all know that. And if we see the five years of growth, it has grown by 307%. That's uh, a massive gain. Just think, like it's five years, if I invested your money in here, by now your money would uh, grow by 300%. <laughs> Currently, I'm holding uh, 19 shares of Apple and under my non-registered, the personal account and TFSM. Uh, the market cap is huge. It's 2.94 trillion. The PE ratio is 31.77. Even though it's a very popular stock, still the PE ratio is uh, very less. So it's very attractive in that way. Uh, Beside the growth, it also provides a little bit of uh, dividend that is 0.50%. So uh, it's not that much, but uh, uh, because this is more of a growth stock, so it focuses on the growth sectors. Still, it has a lot of room to grow. So I think this is the perfect time to buy some Apple stock and hold it for a very long term. And for sure, in five years or 10 years, you can make a lot of money out of these shares. Okay, now at this point, we're going to look into some activities that happened under this uh, portfolio in July. So under activities here, we can see the activities. So let's just start from the beginning. So in uh, June 1st, I got some dividends from Ford stock and uh, then uh, uh, then uh, I got some dividend from Microsoft from VDY. That is uh, the uh, stock that my second biggest holding that every month i'm getting around like 20 dollars from vdy and i'm reinvesting in vdy stocks then uh, i got some microsoft dividend then i deposited some money under my non-register account so the reason why i'm uh, depositing money under my non-registered personal account is that my TFSA is maxed out so I don't want to pay the penalty that's why I'm just using my personal account for the investment then uh, uh, then I purchased a uh, few shares of VFB out of $2,000 because uh, I really wanted to get to the 10k milestone for the VFB so that's why I purchased uh, quite a few shares of VFB then uh, I also purchased few shares of uh, Yard Canada because uh, I also believe one more thing is that the services that we are using our day-to-day -day basis and it's popular we should uh, purchase the shares of those companies so i saw that uh, in canada here canada is very popular people use it every day so yeah in uh, long term it's definitely gonna grow and if even if we see the recent uh, balance sheets of uh, here canada it's uh, doing really great so for that reason i purchased some here canada shares in here and uh, I also have quite a few shares under EIT. So the good part of EIT UN is that it provides you a massive dividend that is near around 10% dividend. So that's the reason we, I have purchased a few shares of dividend of, of, of this uh, EIT stock and every month I'm getting around like $22 of EIT dividends. And then I do have a uh, World Simple Plus uh, subscription. That's why I pay like $10, but it's worthy for the US based stocks. Then uh, uh, I also got some uh, dividend from the Manulife that is $12 and I recently deposited some money under my non-registered personal account and I purchased a few shares of VDY, the uh, Canadian uh, dividend yield one. So yeah, my target is to make it 10K so that I'll have 10K of VFV stock and 10K of VDY stock. In that way, I will have a very solid uh, stock portfolio 
congratulations guys for watching this for of this video so today i have tried to cover like my top five holdings and then i went through my activities under my stock portfolio for the month of june and every weekly basis i'm gonna create a new video to uh, provide you the information like how my stock portfolio i'm arranging everything how things are moving in my stock portfolio well if you do have any questions or any sort of uh, concern related to any stock then uh, let me know under this comment section and i'm going to reply you back very soon if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel because uh, i'm planning to upload more and more videos related to stock not only just a stock market i am planning to upload videos related to the money management how can you save more money how can you re reach your financial goals so uh thanks a lot guys for watching my video it means a lot to me if you want more of this please like and subscribe